of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Hey, you guys, here he comes. Hey, who's got the rice? It's right over here. What's that for? Well, to throw at the groom, naturally. Well, that's not till after the wedding. I know, but we want him to get used to it. Look, why don't you guys lay off him? You've been on his back for a week. Yeah, I agree with Rick. Quiet, freshman. You just clean up the rice when we're finished. <laughs> yes, sir. Here he comes. Okay, real funny. Hey, you guys, the cook wants to know what you did with the rice. Okay, freshman, get busy. Yes, sir. Oh, great. Boy, I think I'll eat out tonight. <laughs> hey, Rick, uh, remember the rehearsal's at 7 o'clock. Yeah, okay, I'll be there. Uh, you have the ring, haven't you? No, of course not. Well, what the heck did you do with it? Well, you haven't given it to me yet. <laughs> Well, I guess we don't need it for the rehearsal. <laughs> Would you guys say he was a little nervous? <laughs> well, no, he always buttons the sweater that way. Here you are, Jimmy. This ought to cheer you up. Well, what is it? Oh, just a little wedding present. It's really nothing. Well, that figures. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I want you guys to know that I embroidered this myself. And here's a little token of my esteem. What every young married man should have. <laughs> oh, it's... Yeah. Hey, I'll take a copy of that. Yeah, me too, Joe. Let's get an enlargement made and put it up on the bulletin board with a sign, Don't let this happen to you. <laughs> you guys are making laughs. Hey, Jimmy, there's a phone call for you. For me? Yeah, it's a girl and it's not Linda. Hey. Oh, oh, let's see who it is. Will you? Oh, no, no, not you, Mom. <laughs> you guys let him alone. He's trying to talk to his mother. Well, that's the way it goes. Make a guy a best man, it goes right to his head. <laughs> oh, well, gee, that's great. Uh, what time do you think it'll be? Uh, okay, well, I'll see you then. Oh, and thanks for calling, Mom. Yeah, bye. Well, what'd you say? Well, she and my dad are coming in tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Well, I think I'll sneak upstairs while the coast is clear. I know what you mean. Hey, uh, Jimmy? Yeah? Look, if it gets too bad around here, why don't you just come over to our house and stay until the wedding? Oh, well, gee, thanks, Rick. But I think I'll survive. Let's see, the rehearsal's at 7. You won't be late now, will you? And don't worry about me. I'll be on time. And you've got the ring? No. No, no, you haven't got the ring because I haven't given it to you yet. Why haven't I given it to you? Because you haven't, haven't picked, picked it up, it up yet. yet. <laughs> How did you ever get into this, I wonder? I don't know, but it's too late to back out now. You know, that's the craziest part about it. I don't want to. Well, I'll see you tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. Something sure smells good. Well, don't go too far away. It's just about ready. We're eating kind of early, aren't we? Well, you're due over at rehearsal at 7. Oh, yeah. How'd you know? Jimmy called to make sure you wouldn't be late. Oh, that poor guy. Did he ask if I had the ring? No, I don't think he mentioned that. Well, that's a step in the right direction. Gee, if he's this nervous at the rehearsal, we better get a standby groom for him at the wedding. He's liable to fall apart. <laughs> Groom's getting a little nervous, huh? Well, yeah, it's an understatement. I'll uh, tell him not to worry too much. After all, we all have to go sometime. Watch it there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal. Why is it that every time marriage is mentioned, you guys find some way to make it sound like a prison sentence? Uh, would you care to tackle that one, Rick? Oh, no, thanks, Pop. I yield to your superior judgment and experience. <laughs> By the way, you didn't tell me Roberta Jackson was going to be maid of honor. Well, yeah, I thought you knew. Is that the girl you used to go out with? He still does. Well, not exactly. I haven't gone out with her for quite a while. Well, how come? I thought you liked her. Well, I do, but she was starting to get a little too serious. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yeah, it kind of seemed that way. Boy, if she was getting serious before, you really better watch out for her now. What do you mean, Pop? Well, I don't know. There's something about a wedding ceremony that always gets the girls all starry-eyed. The bride and the bridesmaids always look so beautiful. There's the church music and the smell of flowers. And then, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? To honor and to cherish in sickness and in health until death do you part? And the bride answers. Okay, fellas, dinner's ready. <laughs> oh, 
Harriet. Well, you're just in time, Mom. A couple of seconds more and I'd have been married to Pop. <laughs> you man and wife well let's see uh, i've already given her the ring right uh, that's right rick's given it to you and you've dropped it picked it up and put it on her finger <laughs> Great. well that's just about it then you turn and walk down the aisle and you're on your own of course the rest of the wedding party will follow in order well uh, don't i have to kiss the bride well, you don't have to. Oh, no, honey, I want to. I just want to know when. Just before you start down the aisle. Well, you think I ought to practice a little? If he has to practice by now, what are we doing here? <laughs> oh, oh, boy, he does need practice. <laughs> All right, now you start down the aisle, and the rest of you follow. Rick and Roberta, and then the next couple. Isn't it going to be beautiful? Oh, yeah, it sure is. Okay. Well, I guess that just about does it. I'll see you all on Saturday. I'm sure it'll be a lovely wedding. You haven't a thing to worry about. Good night, everyone. Good night. Uh, good night, Dr. Wilson. Hey, why don't we all go down to the mall shop and get something to eat? <laughs> good night, all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, isn't this a beautiful chapel? Yeah, it sure is. I'd love to get married here, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, shall we go? <laughs> There you are. Well, you gave them the ones without the onions, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, good. They've still got a little practicing to do. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm not crowding you, am I? Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. They're good, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are. Better get used to them, honey. This is about all we'll be eating for a while. Are you kidding? I can cook more than hamburgers. Yeah, but I may not be able to afford more. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you heard? Two can live as cheap as one. I think the answer to that is if one doesn't eat. No, not necessarily. I agree with Rick. Well, I didn't say I believed it. Well, I do. Well, I'll let you guys know how it works out when I come around for a loan. <laughs> I hope it's not going to be that bad. No, I don't think so. Actually, we sat down with a pencil and paper and figured the whole thing out. But then he decided to get married anyway. <laughs> yeah, love conquers all. If it doesn't, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Rick, I don't have my car. Could you give me a lift home? Oh, well, yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. thanks. Are you coming with us, Roberta? Uh, no, thanks. Rick's going to take me home. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, here we are. Seems like we've been here before. Yeah, that's right. Well, I guess I better get home. I've got a little studying to do. They sure seem happy, don't they? Uh, Jimmy and Linda. Yeah, they sure do. She took me over to see their apartment the other day. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I understand it's real nice. Oh, it's the cutest thing you've ever seen. Of course, the furniture is modern. But I think I prefer early American. Same as you. Well, how do you know what kind of furniture I like? Oh, I know a lot more about you than you think. Don't forget, I've known you for quite a while. Yeah, I guess so. You know, come to think of it, we've known each other longer than Linda and Jimmy have. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we have. Well, I better get going. Well, okay. Uh, Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Oh, good. Hi. Oh, hi, Mom. You're back early. How'd rehearsal go? Oh, pretty good. The minister couldn't find the key to the chapel. The groom was late, and the bride's father went to the wrong church. <laughs> well, that's par for the course. How was Roberta? Was she there? Yeah, she was there, all right. I must admit, Pop, you were right. Uh, about what? Well, girls really do get kind of carried away when they get around a wedding. Oh. Uh, what's the matter? Did Roberta come on a little strong? Well, kind of. Well, she's a real nice girl, and I like her a lot, but I kind of get the feeling she's got marriage on her mind. Well, I don't blame her. She's an attractive young girl, and you're an eligible young man. Well, yeah, but I'm still in school, and I've got a couple of years in the Army to look forward to. And not to change the subject, how's the groom making out? Oh, pretty good, I guess. He's still a little shaky. Are the guys at the fraternity still giving him a bad time? Well, no, they seem to let up a little tonight. I guess they're beginning to realize the strain he's under. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, I'll get it. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Come on in. Oh, thanks. Say, I was wondering if I could take you up on that offer to stay here until the wedding. Oh, sure. What's the matter? The guy's been giving you a bad time again? Yeah, well, kind of. Uh, do you have a hacksaw? <laughs> Believe me, 
I sure appreciate this. Oh, that's okay, Jimmy. We're glad to have you. I just hope I'm not barging in on you. Oh, heck no. And David stayed here 22 years before he got married. <laughs> anyway, it's really nice to be here. I was getting a little tired of that horsing around at the fraternity. Yeah, I know what you mean, but uh, I think kidding the groom is sort of traditional, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and it's a lot of fun, too. So long as you're not the groom. <laughs> Hey, that looks good, Mom. It sure does. Well, thank you. It's homemade. Well, uh, just a second, Harriet. Uh, I don't think uh, Jimmy ought to have any of this. Why not? Yeah, why not? Well, uh, knowing young brides, I don't think it's fair to expose them to good cooking. <laughs> well, I'm willing to risk it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Or shouldn't I ask? Yeah, I, I was just thinking of something. Oh, I know. You were thinking about some of the meals I cooked when we were first married. Well, I was thinking about one of them. Uh, the first time you made biscuits. You remember when I tacked them up on the wall? <laughs> we didn't have a young groom to be in our midst. Oh, I never would have said it. <laughs> you can't fool me, Mrs. Nelson. I bet you and Mr. Nelson never had an argument in your lives. Well. Uh, but why don't we eat the pie before we have our first one? <laughs> Right over here, Jimmy. This is Dave's old bed. Oh, that's fine. Here's an extra blanket in case you need it, boys. Oh, thanks, Mom. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Nelson. Uh, should I put this in the bathroom? Yeah, right over there, Jimmy. Oh, thank you. I told your dad to kind of soft pedal the humor. Oh, good. I think poor Jim's taking enough kidding for one night. In fact, I think I'll keep the conversation away from marriage altogether. That's probably a good idea. Good night, Mrs. Nelson. Oh, good night, boys. If there's anything else you need, let me know. Thanks, Mom. Hey, who's the good-looking girl? Is this the Sharon you were telling me about? Oh, no, uh, that's Sandy. Uh, this is Sharon. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Hey, you better give me that. Yeah, I guess those days are about over for me. Don't you have a picture of Roberta? Yeah, I've got one around here someplace. Oh, well, you're pretty casual about it, aren't you? I mean, for a guy who's going steady with her? Well, I'm not going steady with her. She's a real nice girl, but I'm just not ready for the ball and chain yet. Why not? Maybe we could get a matching set. Well, not me, please. I'm just not ready to get married. Well, how do you know? Well, for one thing, I'm still going to school. Well, gee, so am I. And besides, I haven't known Roberta long enough to think about getting married to her. I've only known Linda for about a year. Sure hope I'm not rushing this. Oh, well, no, of course not. This has nothing to do with you. I realize we haven't known each other for very long, but we just seem to get along so well together. Well, yeah, I think it's going to work out fine. But as far as I'm concerned, I just don't want to lose my freedom. You're not necessarily losing your freedom just because you're getting married. Oh, I know that. You know, I've thought the whole thing out, and I know it's going to be tough, what with me going to school and all, but I'll be out in a year. Maybe we are paying too much rent. But I think it's very important to have a nice place to come home to. Oh, well, yeah, sure. And if things got real bad, we could always move in with her folks. Uh, just temporarily, I mean. I guess we could have waited till we graduated. You think we should have waited? Oh, no. Well, I, I mean, well, that's up to you. Uh, then you don't think we're making a mistake? No, of course not. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, Rick? Oh, hi, Roberta. I'm sorry to be calling you so late. Oh, that's okay. What's up? Well, this may sound a little silly, but I just talked to Linda, and she didn't come right out and say so, but I think she's a little concerned about Jimmy. Well, what do you mean? Well, she phoned the fraternity, and he wasn't there. And not only that, but one of the fellows said he left with some of his things. Oh, well, do you think he might have skipped out on the wedding? Oh, of course not. Why? Did he say something to you? Well, he was getting a little jumpy, but I think he's going to be all right now. No, I'm just kidding. He's right here. I thought so. We had a hunch he might be there. Uh, Jimmy? Jimmy? Oh, uh, where's Jimmy? Oh, I'm sorry, Rick. I didn't realize you were phoning. Oh, uh, that's okay. Oh, uh, just a second. A uh, pop? Uh, yeah? Wait, isn't he downstairs? Well, no, I thought he was up here with you. Well, he was just a minute ago. Hey, where is it? Where is what? Well, his suitcase. It was right here on the bed. Well, I don't see it. That's funny. Uh, hold on a second, will you, Roberta? Oh, his car's gone. It is? It is. <laughs> uh, listen, Roberta, it was nice of you to call. I, I guess I'll see you at the wedding. What do you mean you guess? Where's Jimmy? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know. Well, I thought you said he was there with you. Well, yeah, he was. 
Uh, I guess he went out for a walk. In his car with his suitcase? Look, I I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I I'll find him and let you know what happened. But, uh, Roberta, whatever you do, don't say anything to Linda, okay? Oh, blew the coop, huh? <laughs> Wait, chicken out. Come on, Wally, this may be serious. Well, you don't have to tell me. I'm stuck with a wedding present and two pounds of rice. <laughs> Look, if any of the guys see him, let me know, will you? Yeah, I sure will. Hey, uh, Rick? Yeah? Uh, look, if we can't find him, how about having some sort of a fancy dance? You know, a costume party? <laughs> We've already rented the suits. <laughs> uh, Rick? Rick? No sense of humor. Well, okay, uh, thanks just the same. Any luck? No, I've called just about every house in the row and nobody's seen him. Well, why don't you try the hotel where his family's staying? Well, they're not due until tomorrow. Oh. Hello? Oh, hi, Roberta. No kidding. Well, where is he? Oh, great. I'll get right down there. Yeah, okay. I'll be right over and pick you up. Where is he? He's over at the mall shop. Well, uh, Rick, uh, when you talk to him, be careful what you say and how you say it. Oh, don't worry. I will. He's liable to be a little upset. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rick? Yeah? As long as you're going down there anyway, would you pick up a couple of quarts of chocolate ice cream? <laughs> okay, Bob. Well, hi, Jimmy. Oh, hi, Rick. Roberta? Hi. We've been looking all over for you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to duck out on you. I just kind of had to get away. Well, I'm afraid you might have misunderstood a couple of things I said. Well, I don't want you to get the idea that I think there's anything wrong with getting married. Oh, I know that. Well, I'm sure everybody gets a little panicky at the last minute, but that's just because it's such an important step to take. But when two people really love each other, these little problems have a way of working themselves out. Oh, sure. We don't have any problems. You talk like I want to call the whole thing off. Well, to be honest with you, I was afraid that's what you were thinking. Oh, heck no. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, you left the house in such a hurry, and you took your suitcase. Oh, I didn't take the suitcase. I just slid it under the bed. Oh. Like I said, I just want to get away for a while. Well, that isn't exactly true. I just wanted to get out and see Linda again tonight, and I didn't want to be kidded about it. Oh, there she is now. Well, excuse me, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, and, and uh, thanks a lot, Rick, for being so concerned about me. Oh, forget it. I guess everything was all right after all. See, we were worried about nothing. Yeah, sure looks that way, doesn't it? You know, I liked what you said to Jimmy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't realize you were that serious about marriage. I mean, I, I didn't think you'd give it that much thought. Oh, well. For as much as James and Linda have consented together in holy wedlock, and have declared the same before God and in the presence of this company, I pronounce them man and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. What God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Gee, I don't know. She's around here someplace. You know, in fact, I'm getting a little worried about that situation. I mean, she's getting a little too serious? Well, yeah. She's a real nice girl, and I like her a lot, but I'm just not ready yet. Rick, <laughs> could you come over here a moment, please? Oh, well, yeah, I'll be right there. Good luck. I'll see you later. Have you got any rice? 
Oh, yeah, Wally just gave me something. Oh, thanks. I just thought I'd warn you in case I seem to disappear suddenly. Don't get word or anything. Somebody's going to stop by and pick me up. Well, that's okay. I'll drive you home. Oh, I know that, Rick, and thanks a lot, but I'm going away for a couple of days. Oh, with your folks? No, with some friends. Do you know George Wilcox? Well, uh, no, I don't think so. Well, his mother and father have a place up at the lake, and they invited me up for the weekend. Oh. That's real nice. Oh, here he is now. George. Oh, hi. George, this is Rick Nelson, George Wilcox. Hi, George. Hi, Rick. Hey, everybody, here they come. Yeah. Uh, George, where's your car? Oh, it's right across the street. Well, I'll see you Monday, Rick. Okay. Nice to meet you, Rick. Have a good time. Hi. Oh, hi. You made a very handsome best man. Oh, thanks. It must be the suit. It belongs to my brother. It was a beautiful wedding, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure was. Aren't we in the same English class? No. That's funny. I know you from someplace. I'm the assistant librarian. Oh, that's right. I'll have to get over there more often. I wish you would. Hey, my car's parked right over there. Would you like to go for a ride? Yeah, sounds great. I think I should warn you, though. I caught the bouquet. Well, that's okay. I believe in living dangerously. <laughs> Thank you.